2009, webisode, uh, excited episode, wine episode. Episode, yeah, uh, for it's, the limited it's, series. It's not a wine episode. We're not whining here. You know, the yeah. previous take, I was telling you, I played golf with Buddy Hackett once, and, and I sat with dinner, and he goes, Oh, you're with Wine of the Month Club? I want to go to Miami. <laughs> now, coming from him, that was funny. It didn't really happen. Typically, it's not very funny. All right. We're going to start with the white wine for the limited series, which is the Bordeaux Blanc from Chateau Moulinier. And what's kind of exciting about this is that it is new world style, and we have a screw cap. Look how easy this is. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so great. Yeah. Any old world wine would never have a screw cap, but this is a nice, bright Sauvignon Blanc Semillon blend, 50-50. Look at that. Just, that's all sealed up again. Great. It's the best uh, thing there is for, for, for sealing wine. And there's no cork taint. And, you know, there have been so many studies that have been done about screw caps versus all other closures. And the wine shows better in screw cap than anything else. That's great. It's great. This is incredible stuff. I love White Bordeaux anyway. 2007 is being heralded as one of the best vintages in 100 years. In, in really? White Bordeaux. Yeah, well, unbelievable. That I haven't heard. All of them are amazing. They're, well, Chateau Aubryon Blanc is like 600 bucks a bottle oh, at least. All the whites. All the whites. Yeah, the whites are unbelievable. Well, the, the color of this is a nice straw, mm -hmm. a little gold in the middle. But the thing I get in the nose, that semillon, just the tailing part of that semillon really comes out. And I love it. Yeah, color. that's the little fig and the little um, uh, pippin apple, an Asian pear component. Mm -hmm. No oak on this wine whatsoever. They almost never put oak on them. A, a couple of the big guys do, but this is the way it should be made. Clean, fresh, very crisp. It, your mouth tingles after you've swallowed it. It's absolutely spectacular wine. You, would, you know, you almost get like there's some kind of aging to it, but there's so much body in the wine. That it tastes like or feels like oak components. Yeah, what's amazing is you look at the color and it's very light, you know, but you, you don't expect it to have that much going on. But, you know, this is a special place. Mm, and, uh, cool. and they make really good wine there. Mm. Man, you pair this with some with a with a baked catfish or or even Chinese food. Mm -hmm. Amazing, absolutely incredible. That. Indian food, you know, some uh, uh, with uh, with tandoori. yogurt. It'll it'll just tandoori would be great. You you can you can match this up with anything. It doesn't make any difference. That's great. It'll hold up to anything. I love the balance between the Sauvignon Blanc and the Semillon. Sometimes it's tilted one way or the other. And this was just you start with Sauvignon Blanc, you end with Semillon, and it just. And the, of course, the French have been blending wine for hundreds of years. Right. In California, a little longer to figure that it works. Well, it just works better for them. Yep. You know? <laughs> <laughs> because they are French. They are French. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the white wine. And let's move on to the red wine for the limited series. And we have a wonderful Rioja. Ooh. It's a red wine glass. Sorry about that. There we go. Wow. How about that? Refilled. This is Uvaris 2006. And it's 100% uh, Tempranillo, which is the uh, the principal grape in the Rioja, and um, one of my favorite grapes in the world. Actually, I love Riojas. Uh, your it's dad and I back in the day used to drink these before they were popular. You know, is, is a Tempranillo a noble grape? No, it's not. It's, it's not, not a noble grape, but it is. Uh, it certainly makes noble wine. And I think it's one of the most longest aged wines there is. I mean, Tempranillo can last forever. They just don't die. They're, uh, they, they've really got a lot of nerve. Well, I like in the nose of this, the color's sort of a magenta purple, mm -hmm. but the nose has got tons of vanilla and it's got a little spice with a little ripe cranberry. There's a little ripeness about the nose. Mm -hmm. like. Yeah. It's got, um, got some cranberry, but it's also got spiciness. Mm -hmm. It's a real spicy wine. It's like uh, clove and cinnamon and you know, a little nutmeg. And, um, and it's not a big wine. These are never usually big wines. They're, but they're penetrating. They're, the flavors just go on right, and, on and on and on. Still know? tasting it from that first yeah, sip. Yeah, absolutely. And you will. And for, for a wine that's very light in color, right. again, when you swirl it in your glass, I mean, it, it, it holds up there. It's got you legs. Know? It's got legs, you know. I knew a girl like that. <sighs> yeah, but she wasn't this color. <laughs> You know, it's also deceiving about the color because it is sort of on the lighter side, but boy, the nose. Yeah, the nose really gives you The mid-palate will just jump at you. Yeah, you better watch out, man. It almost jumped out at me. Yeah, yeah good, good uh, little like series this, wines. A little old world character in the finish. Boone's fine. <laughs> what are the prices of these? <laughs> the prices of these, sorry. The Chateau Moulinier is $13.99. Boy, really? Given the, the euro uh, versus the dollar, to bring a French wine over that's as good as this for $13.99 is a great bargain. And the Uvaris is a $15.99, which is for any Rioja Tempranillo is a very, very fair price. Excellent. Gave the Rioja an 86, you know? 
Probably push that up a little bit. I'm very stingy. Yeah, you really are. Really what did you like give him to buy something? There? Come on. You, you don't tell I me you gave that an 87 or an 88. I gave it an 86. Oh, man, that's a 92 pointer right there. Right. That's Absolutely. A that's a bargain, that's too. That's a great yeah. one. Yeah. All right. My fault. See you the next time. Take yeah. care.